A lot of people think that with the current graphics card shortage going on, that it's near impossible to build any sort of decent budget gaming PC. But the fact that I have a 6-core CPU and a flagship graphics card from yesteryear that cost me under $700 for this full system is testament to prove just how wrong that is. Let's check out what this build can do. Everybody, welcome back to GTech, and today I'm showing off this little powerhouse of a budget gaming PC that I threw together for under 700 bucks. For the CPU is the Ryzen 5 3600, arguably one of the best gaming CPUs ever made in my opinion. With 6 cores and 12 threads, it pretty much puts you right at the sweet spot for gaming PCs nowadays. And being that you can get them for 200 bucks or less, makes the price of performance value for this chip amazing. I actually got this one for about $150 used. And keeping this chip nice and cool is the Cooler Master Master Liquid ML120L RGB V2, which is a bit of a mouthful. I picked this one up for about 50 bucks locally, which isn't really a great deal, but being that I picked it up as part of a larger bundle deal and subtracting the cost of those extra components, 50 bucks is about what this unit worked out to be. Besides, it gives me some bonus points for saying that this system is liquid cooled and it'll do just fine keeping the temperatures in check. And speaking of local deals, I paid just $40 for this 2x8 gig kit of 3200MHz CL16 RAM. It's a T-Force kit from Team Group, and it's actually in collaboration with ASUS and their Tough Gaming lineup. And matching the memory perfectly is this ASUS Tough Series B550M Micro ATX motherboard. I got this as an open box deal from Micro Center for about 80 bucks. Now something to keep in mind with open box deals is to know what you're getting yourself into. This motherboard, for example, didn't come with any SATA cables, which I was fine with, but it also was missing the I.O. shield. And I really didn't want to sell this system without an I.O. shield, given the price tag, so I got creative with two index cards, a stick of glue, and a sharpie, and made one of my own. And honestly, I think it looks pretty sleek and gets the job done just fine. But I can't give up on open box deals from Micro Center just yet, because I got this 1TB NVMe Gen 3 SSD from Inland for just $71. And that price is undercutting some of the best deals on 1TB Gen 3 drives, so I knew I had to pick it up for this build. But we're not done with great deals just yet, because this EVGA 750 BQ 80 plus bronze rated power supply I got from EVGA Beast during midweek madness. 750 watts is going to be more than enough for this system, plus it gives us upgrading headroom down the line, but I had to pick it up for the $36 price tag. Not to mention, this case is pretty sweet. It's the ES Gaming Q06 B500. The B stands for black as they have a W500 in white. Not only that, but the $40 price tag actually undercuts that of the Cougar Gaming case that I used in my 3400G build, which you can check that video out up here. So for less money, you're getting four 120mm fans with LEDs and more open mesh front panel and better top I.O. So other than the Molex powered fans and the non-replaceable breakaway PCIe slot covers, I would give this case like a B plus, maybe an A minus considering its value. But there's still one component that I haven't covered yet, and that is the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 980 Ti, which I picked up for just 200 bucks on Jawa.gg. If you don't know what Jawa is, it's the newest PC component and system buying and selling marketplace, and you can check out my last video up here to learn more. I am so happy that I grabbed this graphics card when I did, and it's taken everything in my power to not just keep it, because of how much I love NVIDIA's reference design. But I know that it could go to a gamer in need, and this whole system cost me under $670 before taxes and shipping, and just over $700 afterwards. So now that you've seen the system in its full glory, let's see what this combo can do. In 3D Mark Firestrike, we're seeing pretty respectable numbers across the board. Almost 15,000 points overall and a combined average of 7390. 3D Mark Time Spy tests out the DirectX 12 API, as well as ups the resolution to 1440p, and here we see that Ryzen 5 3600 pull off almost 6900 points. Nice. The graphics card sits just around 4900 points, bringing the overall score to 5133. Ashes of the Singularity is mostly a CPU bound test, but at the high preset we saw over 60 FPS at both 1080 and 1440p resolutions. But that GTX 980 Ti really starts to show its age once we jump to the extreme preset, falling behind 60 FPS in both resolutions, with 1440p falling behind 50. CSGO is a pretty easy game to run, and we averaged almost 300 FPS at 1080p, but our 1% and our 0.1% lows are less than half that amount. 1440p, however, brings our average and percentile frame rates closer together. 
Dirt Rally is a pretty solid game to test as well, and this system averages 134 FPS at 1080p high settings, and we still sit at over 90 FPS going to 1440p. Doom Eternal is honestly a really well-optimized game, and we see that illustrated perfectly here, averaging 106 FPS at 1080p high settings. And while 1440p does average over 70 FPS, we see our percentiles in the low to high 40s. Stick to 1080p and you're just fine. Grand Theft Auto V was a more demanding title around the time that the GTX 980 Ti launched, so we are seeing it chug along here at just over 61 FPS average with the high preset at 1080p, but I wouldn't recommend going to 1440 as now we're sitting at 50 FPS and lower. And lastly is Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege another graphically optimized game being that it's an esports title. At 1080p Ultra, we averaged over 200 FPS, and the same can be said about 1440p, coming in at 142 FPS average. So overall, this is one little powerhouse of a system. This GTX 980 Ti, albeit a bit aging and power hungry, performs about the same as a GTX 1660, and the $200 price tag would be a great value for that card, and the same goes for this one. But anyways, that's just about gonna do it for now, so if you like this video, you know what to do, and if you like this system, I'm actually selling it over on jawa.gg. I'll leave the link for it in the description below. And if you wanna see more stuff like this, make sure to get subbed down below, because I love making this stuff for you guys, and as always, have a good one. Honey, I'm a big